No. Hello there. Today. Oh. Hi. No. Ooh. <laughs> Are you trying to make your voice deeper? Are you? <laughs> Shut up. You trying to get psyched up? Yeah. Today we're out there on Larks and I'm going to teach you five easy tricks that are mind numbing, ski bending and snow grinding. And to be honest, they're all quite easy if you do the basic version of each trick. But I'll introduce more advanced versions. This video has a little something for almost everyone. And since this is the funnest video I ever do, we're doing the biggest giveaway we've ever done. So don't miss that. Enough talking, let's hit it. Trick number one, snow grinds. All you have to do is to find something to grind. So I'm at the side of a slope where you can often find a little ridge to grind. And the first variation of the ridge grind is to just grind it and then lean back so you put some extra pressure on the tails so you go back to forwards again, just like this. You can really ollie quite a lot off it. And you can also try to go against the pressure of the tails and do the ridge grind to switch again, where you just ollie to switch. This one feels pretty cool. <laughs> These snow grinds can be really quite transformative for a beginner freestyle, since it's really easy and safe, and the whole mountain turns into a terrain park. Once you are comfortable with this snow grind, you can go to a half pipe or a mini pipe like this one, where it's actually called like a coping grind or something like that. <laughs> Don't miss the coping. If the 180 on nose grind grind, uh, 180 off it, well, what am I saying? Whatever. You know what I mean. If you get that down, just go wild. There's so many different variations to do. 360 on, 360 out, and all of that good stuff. Let's see if I can do any of it. Yeah! early nose grab. It's quite exciting. I recommend that you leave your poles as you just had. And then you can try it off a jump. First time you do it, definitely hit it from straight and the jump should be really small. So let's try one. So now I'm going to try to do an early nose grab 360. I've never done this, so I'm excited. So I'm going to have to rely on the calm quite a lot and the left arm to do the swinging. We'll see how it's going to go. <laughs> Jeez, early nose grab 360. This is not an easy trick. I think it is easier to do switch because it's a more natural position. It's so hard to even just get the nose before you hit the jump. You almost got to get the nose while at the in run. It gets a little sketch. And in my experience, it's easier to go right hand, left nose in because that foot can skid a little bit away and help you with the rotation. Let's do one of these early nose grabs onto this mailbox. Get the grab! Nah! Nah! Ah! 
Oh, dropped it. Missing the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. I wish I had my sticky gloves on. That's a terrible excuse, Jens. It's not going to cut it with the fans. <laughs> All right, let's learn our very first snow ballet move. And this is quite tricky if you try to do everything in one go. So I really suggest you practice one part at a time. Find a very, very flat slope, even flatter than what I'm on. So the first step is get into this sketchy position, twist the foot over. I prefer to be on the uphill edge because it's safer for the knees, but you can put it on the downhill edge for extra swoon. But you know, as usual at your own risk. And then this one is going to drag you around. So this is dragging us around in a 360, 180 I mean. And then open the hip into a caribou, wide stance, and then step around. Oh, this is fast. Go around, drag it into caribou, and out. Nice. Yeah. As you can see, the ski ball every move looks sort of tricky, but if you break it down into its part, it really ain't that hard. So once you've got that down, I do suggest that you could try it right at a drop-in just to look a little cool. Or you can do it just before hitting a rail, for example. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh. To do this twirly ski ballet thing, onto a box. Timing is key. And what I've experienced is that it's easy to start too high up, but you should be pretty close to the box to really finish the ballet move straight onto the box or even from one leg, which I haven't got yet, but we'll get in the next one. Nice. I prefer to do it with a cape. Anyway, that's the ballet. <laughs> Next trick, hip slides. An easy hip slide is best done on a flat box with a wee bit of a drop off the end. I unfortunately don't have a feature like that. Uh, the features with a drop off the end can help you to land straight onto your feet. While this battleship box or up, flat, down, since it's down, it's hard to get the feet under you and you've got to land with your edges in the snow a little bit, but you can easily over edge. Uh, to avoid the over edging, I suggest that you have the skis like a 45 degree angle to the slope so it gets a little less aggressive. Stay low, lay down. Now we're going to do something quite exciting that I've never done. I've heard it's called cinnamon slide. So it's basically like the hip slide. But we're gonna do it with the head down the hill and then spin with the tummy up the hill. So I'm gonna just stay really low in the box in the beginning and then like fall onto my hip forwards, grab the outside of the box and chuck myself around. Wish me luck. Yes. <laughs> so <Nice> <laughs> And I made it my own with almost five flip out. I'll leave it at that because my hips are bruised up enough. Next trick. Manual. So to be specific, tail manual first. To learn this, I suggest you start out with perfectly flat and you just lean back, lift the toes, lean back some more and try to not use the, the poles to help you. It matters a lot what kind of ski you have. If you have a soft ski, it's going to be significantly easier. To add some style, it's important that you pop off the end of the manual, like a little ollie. You can do it at the drop-in, dropping into the pipe, or 
over rollers, over like anything flat where it's like a clear cut between here we start the manual and there we finish it. Then it's going to look pretty sick. One easy manual combination you can do is a manual to 180. And then you can step it up and try to do all the snow features or even boxes. Switch tail manual or whatever you would call that. I don't recommend it, it feels sketchy. If normal manuals was too easy, try nose manual. This is much more fun to do, but it's a little sketchy because the, the noses can slide apart and you fall on your face. You don't want to do that. So it's important you keep the feet very close together and arms out. This is to keep the balance. And you extend the legs, but don't overextend them. That could hurt your knees. So you want to keep them slightly king and go up on the noses. Ooh. Before we hit the competition, don't forget you can come here and learn from me and my great coaches at our own freestyle camps. Competition time, you can win. My socks, no. They're new. Ben Shuttle Ski Socks from Smartwool, an internet base layer from them as well. Can even win Ben Shuttle Skis from Atomic. These goggles, this helmet, and even a weekend stay here in Lox with Lift Ticket. So to enter the competition, you gotta do the following. Post an easy ski trick to Instagram with the hashtag I stomped it. Then you follow Smartwool Europe Atomic Ski and Lox. Maybe you could give me a little follow to it, Stomp Tutorials. Uh, do not be intimidated by this competition. We do not choose the winner on who is the best skier ever. It's who has the most fun, who shows they really tried hard. Good luck. Winner will be announced one month after the posting of this video. Yeah. <laughs>